What's up? We're on our project site out in Chelsea. We've got a new construction home we're working on. The house is up, but the interior is not done. The exterior finishes are not done. Um, final grade's not done, so we're coming in. Homeowner's contracting us to do a landscape master plan that'll address how we're gonna you know, handle the yard, handle the landscaping. But right now, we're mainly just focusing on a back retaining wall that we're building. It's a uh, Canadian Ledgestone slab wall. There's an interesting story behind the wall. It was featured in the Riders' Cup and PGA uh, tournaments on TV. Tiger Woods actually sat on the wall uh, in, a, in a tournament on, on national TV. So it's a really, really cool story behind the wall. But right now we've got Spencer actually just back here uh, grading and compacting. We've got the Komatsu. We're doing excavation and making room for our drainage aggregate and for our uh, Canadian Ledgestone slabs. Right through here, we've got two walls we're building about uh, 450 face feet worth of wall, nine feet high, and we'll have a wall kind of step down. We'll have another wall, which will also wrap around, and then we'll have big Canadian Ledgestone slabs, uh, steps that'll go up through the wall and give access to the backyard. So uh, it's gonna be a cool project. It's gonna be a beautiful project, and stay posted for uh, more videos. What goes into building a wall like this, or, or almost every job I have, is a good evaluation of the site, seeing what the client's uh, expectations are, what they're trying to achieve, what the, what the end use is, then, then select materials that look appropriate. We always use the 6A crushed stone behind the wall. It's a drainage gravel. We compact it so any water coming through will leach through the wall. Uh, gravel under the wall for stability. In this case, it's so sandy and gravelly, we didn't need to do a lot of sub-base preparation. Perfect soil conditions. No matter what the design, I try to do it more of in a sketch form for my crews because they know what they're doing and then they'll get out here. Any design has to be able to be implemented in the field. There'll be little tweaks that John sees, the stone sizes are different, and he puzzles it together and achieves the design itself. Back on our Chelsea Retaining Wall project, Guys are all finished up with the walls. We've got two beautiful Canadian gray granite ledgestone walls on each side of the uh, walkout basement. We've got some big, wide ledgestone steps up through the middle of the wall and just overall, just really beautiful material. These walls will last another <laughs> couple hundred years. They're not going anywhere. Um, some of the strongest walls money can buy. And we're really impressed with the project. The guys finished it up really quickly. So we're happy with that. Homeowner's really happy. Next, we're gonna continue through the master plan, figure out what we're gonna do with the rest of the backyard, but we're thinking a pool somewhere back there, uh, maybe a pergola, you know, maybe growing some ground cover, some weeping vines on top of the uh, retaining walls, so that'll you know, kind of soften the look with some greenery, but it's gonna look beautiful. Stay posted for more job footage, and we'll see you on the next project.